everyone, it's Lushan. If you have just found my channel, welcome. And if you are returning to my channel, welcome back. Thank you all so much for the support. I truly, truly appreciate it. So in today's video, I will be detailing my first paycheck for March. And let's go ahead and um, get started in the video. Okay, as per usual, I'm using my Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. Love it, love it, love it. And this is for all of my budgeting needs. So let's go ahead and turn to March. And this is paycheck number one. And for the sake of time, you can see I've already done the grid for the way I capture the bills and expenses and income for each paycheck. So, uh, let me bring you guys in a little bit. You can see what, I'm, what I got going on here. Uh, the budget kit that I use is from Shea Budget's Etsy shop. Love her, her um, budget kit stickers. So, let's go ahead and, of course, our first, we wanna go ahead and put down income. And when I have income and it's the date I'm going to get it, how much I'm expected, the actual, and if there's a variance, which normally there is not. I don't get overtime, so. <laughs> All right. So, of course, the income will be check number one. And I will get that on the 28th, but it's for my bills for the first two weeks of March, so date expected is 228. The amount is $2,980.85. So let's go ahead and get into the bills and expenses. So here we go. Um, so I want to track that, the date it's due, so I'll just put due, the budgeted amount, the actual that it may come out to be, and again, the, the variance of if there's a change. So do I have you guys in enough? work okay so of course you know I bu budget for mortgage and that's a combination of and for those of you who are new to my channel it's due um I'm, I am allowed to pay up I have up to the 15th to pay it so what I do is I break it out I budget half my half of it um on the first paycheck and then the other the next paycheck, my second paycheck, um, is the other half of it, and I pay it. As long as I pay it by the 15th, um, I'm good. That's the policy of the mortgage company, so I'm not doing anything wayward or getting harassed or called or anything like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> they allow you, they give you a 15-day grace period, and as long as you pay it on the 15th, um, you're good. So... I'm gonna go ahead and put in one. And this did go up because it's like bittersweet. My my insurance went up, the, the homeowner's insurance went up, but my property tax, my property went up, my property value went up a lot, which is great, but, but also not so great because taxes go up. And so when they did my escrow analysis, they had to bump up everything pretty much. So that took my um, mortgage up, but <clears throat> that's okay. I'll take a higher property value. 
It's good for week resale. All right, so then I have life insurance. And I'm going to just put a little asterisk next to the ones that are auto debit. Because, so I know those are coming out. I mean, I know mentally that I already have it in my mind. I know which ones are auto, but I'll just put that there anyway. Then I have toll. And that's on the first as well. And that is $30. Then I have another life insurance. Um, it's for my mom. And that is also auto pay. And that one is due on the second for $51. Then I have um, American Express. Baloo, which is now my new item on my snowball, and that's due on the third. And now the minimum payment it um, payment that's due is one sixty seven twenty four, and that is because I paid off my Capital One, and the minimum payment that I was making to that card rolls into the minimum payment of this card in the snowball and then any additional um, monies that you choose to, to throw at the snowball goes to um, this item. So this, this is my item that is up and I'm gonna put 423 here because this is a zero APR card. So I have to pay it by April 23rd in order for it to um, not, uh, um, incur any finance charges so um, it's well on track to be paid off so I'm super happy about that hopefully nothing pops up that throws me off from paying that off by that time period um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go gazelle intense as Dave Ramsey likes to say to make sure that that is done before it kicks in the APR changes because we don't want that. So that is due on the 4th. And, oh, this is the goal. American Express goal is due on the 4th. And this, the minimum on this one is 205.97. Then student loan. And these are my sons. And that is um, due on the 4th as well for $130. Then my last Capital One card left. And that's due on the 4th as well. And the minimum is $108 on that one. Then I have Synchrony. And this is also a zero APR balance of uh, APR card that I will have paid off before it's time. So that's due on the 10th and that's for $56. Then I have cash envelopes. And I'll just put the first cause that's when I, and that is $300. And then sinking funds. also on the first and that is $150 for the paycheck. So my total is $2,633.64. So my remaining, my tentative <laughs> remaining dollars comes out to $347.21. And um, oh yeah, I forgot to put up here, I, I always 
do a miscellaneous in case something comes in. I'm not expecting anything, but I leave that open. And then I have the total here. So right now, for now, all I'm expecting is the my pay. So that's that. But if anything changes, of course, it goes there on the variance um, here. So this is my remaining so far. Um, that will be remaining for my paycheck. And um, we shall see. Hopefully, I'm thinking my, my, my thought is to each time do the 250 because if you don't know, I've committed or am I, I want to commit $500 to my debt snowball each month. So I don't know if I should do it like each paycheck, do it and then wait because you just, I don't know, you never know. So, but anyway, um, I'm on track to be able to, to com commit the $500 that I said I would to my debt snowball. So anyway, here is what I have going on for paycheck number one, less one of my credit cards, so that's super cool. Hopefully this like shrink, 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 shrinks to it. all it is is just my necessities, and that'd be great. So let me zoom out a little bit here so you can see the whole thing. So this is it, <clears throat> and um, I do appreciate you all watching. And if you haven't done so already, please, you know, click that subscribe button. I'd love for you to just come on back all the time, and I'll, I'll, I'll know you, you're with me in spirit. <laughs> so again, if you've lasted this long in the video, you are a trooper. You are a trooper. Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, until my next video, hugs and love. Bye.